Hello anyone, Mr. Skyson here and welcome to Glitch House. Created for the 2018 Summer Game Jam under the theme of, well, that escalated quickly. Glitch House is... honestly, I'm not entirely sure what sort of game it is. The description says something about escaping different rooms by finding keys, but mostly I just wanted to play it because the visuals looked awesome. Everything's got this neat neon outline to it for some reason, and that really grabbed my attention. So. Let's go escape some cool looking rooms. Okay, we get a pentagram for the loading and in our room. Where are, oh, are we in the attic? Oh boy, are we going through like all the rooms? Like top to bottom or something? That'd be kind of neat. Oh, oh, uh oh. I clicked and I no longer have control of my camera. Nice parallax outside. Interesting that the uh, skybox is, oh, it's got that interesting look to it. When you go out of bounds in some old games, that's kind of neat. Where everything starts like duplicating or whatever, that's interesting looking. Probably not supposed to be that way, but it looks cool. But yeah, uh, how do I control? I have no, okay. Oh, geez, okay. Oh, well, that's one way to get turned around. Okay, right off the bat, I don't like the camera, or rather the lack of camera, but apparently we are supposed to go around burning all the things oh wait click and drag okay we have a camera again still don't like it i don't like click and drag cameras in a game where you're probably not supposed to have a click and drag camera yeah this is a cool looking fire yeah apparently the point of the game is going around burning all the things for some reason can't burn the candles irony so you're burning down everything in the house looking for a key. There we go. You found the key. Okay. Oh, there we go. With the pentagram again. Alright, so yeah, each room. Apparently the timer resets for each one. So where was I? Did I come through that or something? What is that? Oh, there goes the camera again. Whenever I start out a level, I have camera control. But then suddenly it just goes away. That's a bit weird. I don't like it. Developers, is that intentional? Or am I justified in not liking that? There's a key. Cool. But I'm not, but I'm burning things. I'll, I'll come get you in a minute. I gotta burn the bed. Whoa, K-O, jeez. Physics, calm thyself. Okay, let's burn some time. I've killed time, there we go. Uh, let's go ahead and grab that. Because apparently we get, what, two minutes per room? 120 seconds? How many rooms are there? Ooh, okay, what's this? Living room? Kitchen? All-purpose room? Okay then, okay, there goes the camera. Yeah, we have camera control for, oh, well that was easy. <laughs> I guess the key is easier to find in some rooms than others. Although I would like to know how many rooms we get. Ooh, we get outside. Yeah, we get camera control when we first start a stage. But then once you do that first click, it's gone. You just gotta click and drag. I like that they actually put in the effort to make a background and it's like mostly 3D. The skybox is literally just a box. You can see the corner of it. But still, everything looks kind of cool. And I like the outline that goes on with everything. Oh boy, we got a pipe. Somebody was smoking? This is a non-smoking area, you can tell by all the flames. Cut it out. So onward to... whatever room comes next. Whoa. Uh, what room is this? The study? No way out. I don't know, that looks like a way out. That's a door. Oh, how you doing? Alright, so... Is that symbol in every room and I just haven't seen it? Oh, the camera. Hey, these remind me of, oh, I forget the name of it, but that statue-making game that I played forever ago. The big stack of televisions there. Burn the books. Or not. Okay, fine, we can't burn the books. Candles? What can I burn? Some stuff it lets me burn, some stuff it doesn't. I don't get it. I like the flames, though. That's cool looking. Burn the priceless paintings! Ooh, that a key. Cool. 
I'm good at finding keys. Now loading. Television room. Okay, oh. The uh, ceiling appears to be on fire. Abandoned hope. Glitch house. No way out. A bunch of X's? Snakes. Dead snake. Okay then. Uh, why do we have a bunch of TVs in here? Or 1980s style computer monitors? Not entirely sure. So there's the door. Although those beginning messages, you know, no way out, abandon hope. Not exactly, um... Making me feel good there. Also, it's nice how everything is flammable. Even stuff that normally wouldn't be all that flammable. Whoop. Can I... Hey, I gotta jump. Burn the wall. Burn the paint. Burn the, uh... What is this? House supports? Yes, bring it all crashing down. Alright, fine. Can I... Can I burn the door? Aw. Why can't I just burn the... I have no camera control. Okay, I don't like that. Whenever it's bringing up the words, I lose camera control. Like, completely. I can't even click and drag. That's unpleasant. But I wonder why we can't burn the... doors. Like, we can burn everything else, just about it. Just not the door. And where is the key? So far, everything... With every room, the key has been hidden. I've not found a hidden key. Only fire. Oh, there's a box. Yes, only fire, fire, and more fire. The house is burning around me. Oh. Well, I glitched out. Game over. Okay, then. Um, did I miss the key? Let's see how fast we can go through this now that I know what I'm doing. Do the keys appear in the same places? Because I think the key was... Aha! They do! Oh, that makes things super easy. So it's also sort of a memory game. If you ever want to play it again, all you gotta do is remember where the key was. Aha! Didn't want to do that, but whatever. It's done. And key! Cool! Speed run! Alright, back to this room. So only a handful of stages, unless there's more after this. There is a door! So that makes me wonder, is... is there an exit? Is that the exit? Is there something special that I'm supposed to do in here? Can I burn the ceiling? No. Can I burn the light? Aw, oh, I can't burn the light. Hmm. I'm clicking everything that I can here. I'm not seeing any keys. The keys seem to be relatively easy to spot in the flames, by good fortune. So the game at least has that going for it. Camera, still incredibly annoying to deal with. Cause like all this twitching that's going on, that's not me. Or, technically it is me. But I'm not trying to. It's just that click and drag thing while I'm spastically clicking everything. What is this? A thing that I cannot burn. Alright. Come on. Key. Where are ye? I need a key. My burning house for a key. Oh, wait, what? Oh, ah, ha, ha. Camera. Frames. Ah. I'm losing my frames in the flames. It's the one thing about a game like this. If you're gonna have a bunch of fire, make sure you thoroughly test your game. To be sure it can hold up to that. Because fire will eat the crap out of your frames in any game you got. And yeah, I am not seeing a key. I'm not seeing a key anywhere. Um, so that no way out, glitch house, abandon hope. Like, is this the end? Snake, save me! Well, I killed the snake and died. Okay, let's try this one more time. I wonder if there is a, a way to do this peacefully, not burning down everything? Because the keys are supposed to just be hidden, right? 
nothing hidden here. Nothing hidden here. I mean, uh, there's a bunch of X's. X usually marks the spot. Then again, it's triple X. Maybe it's just a very large wall. Oh no! And there we go. Okay, well, I tried going through each room without starting a fire, but apparently it's just not possible. In some rooms, I was able to get by and, like, not burn anything, and that went pretty well. But, uh, it looks like regardless of what you do, the house is gonna burn down around you. So let's see if we can just nudge things around. See if I don't know. It's hidden because we burned everything. Like, maybe if we don't burn everything, maybe it'll appear. Nope. Five, four, three, two, one. And I've lost. Well, apparently that's the ending, so yeah. Overall, this was an interesting game. Again, I liked the visuals to it. It was cool looking for a short little indie game. In a full length type game, I don't know how well that would work, but in this this size of a game, little bite sized game, I definitely like this. All the little neon outlines to everything, it's cool looking. And the music, while not necessarily my kind of thing, was some pretty chill stuff. I could totally see it being something to relax to while the world burns down around you. And while the idea of the game itself was neat, I will say again, I did not like the camera. Having control for a moment and then having to click and drag the rest of the time, very, very annoying. So developers, if you could work on that, you'd have something good going here. I definitely liked the idea behind all of this and could see this as something a bit more. Again, with the art style, with the outlines, I don't know about a super long game as that might get a little bit old unless you change the outline colors up, but you got something good here just to fix the camera. But anywho, this has been Glitch House. I hope you've enjoyed watching. If you did, then give the like button a tap. And if you want to see more like this or more from me, then give the subscribe button a big thumbs up. I will see you all next time, and remember to stay groovy.